What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. It has been a very long time since I've driven the Supra. Probably three weeks or even four weeks since track day and I haven't even watched it yet. And look how filthy it is. Whoa, my buddy Zach just came over. Zombie Zach sold the Tacoma and has a forerunner now. Bro, Zombie Zach, dude. What's your name? Who are you supposed to be? <laughs> if anybody wants to know why I'm growing out my mustache, look at this man's mustache game. It is good. It's getting thicker. Getting a little better. It could use a little trimming today, but maybe Zach will trim it for me. Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> All right, but check this out. The Supra has not been washed since track day hasn't been driven in four weeks and oh shit why did i do that that's gross and then we still have the racing sticker on the whole car is messy so today i'm gonna wash the car i think it looks good with the sticker yeah but i want a new sticker now This is the pressure washer that I normally use to wash my car. And it says black washer, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It does its job fine, and I've been using it for years. Uh, but the thing that I hate most about washing my car is setting up everything to get it done. Uh, with a pressure washer like this, I have to grab it from wherever I stored it. I have to run the water hose to the pressure washer, plug the power in, and then finally untangle this thing that always is like this. Bruh. So yeah, I'm no longer gonna have to use this pressure washer because I got myself a Draft Tools pressure washer. This model specifically is called the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro. The reason why I wanted this pressure washer is because it is actually a set it and forget it type of pressure washer system. So the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro is rated for a max pressure of 2500 psi it also has a 1.6 gallons per minute rating and this unit has a stronger induction motor than the other draft tool options so it's going to result in less noise when you're operating it my favorite feature and the reason why i got this unit specifically is because it has a retractable hose system uh, it is 100 feet long and it's actually replaceable so if anything ever happens i can go ahead and just replace the hose as needed this setup comes with the unit itself that's going to be wall mounted it comes with a gun that is actually really neat this gun comes with a handle uh, that holds all your nozzles so you'll never lose them and it also comes with a soap cannon that looks very high quality. I'm gonna go ahead and use my own handle gun because I like the smaller system. I just really like having a minimalistic setup. So this unit is really easy to install onto your wall. Uh, and if you look in the back, you're gonna see these grooves. And there's a bracket that this just slides onto. So it's very easy to install and very easy to remove. You walk over to the wall where I'm setting it up. I'm actually setting it up in this corner. And this is the bracket itself. It's very easy. Just go ahead and detect where your wall beams are and you're gonna use the lag bolts to secure it on and it's pretty sturdy. It's not gonna go anywhere. I would recommend you having a second hand to do this, but because I'm home alone, we will go ahead and do it ourselves. Voila! I'm just gonna hook up the water line. Check out how far we can pull this. It just keeps going. Holy moly, it just keeps going. Keep going, Zach. Keep going, Zach. Show up where it can go. Bye, Zach. Look at all right, we're done. Bring it back. Oh, shit. What the? Things Dude, that, fast, man. That cleanup is so crazy. Pretty sweet. So all you have to do, no more setup. I can just grab the hose and start washing. Woohoo! Check out how dirty these wheels are. 
track day four days ago and it's gross so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna spray some wheel cleaner I like using Griot's garage let's just go ahead and spray it down and let it sit and let's see how clean this thing just with the spray gets and because I tracked it I'm actually just gonna spray some extra probably over two it's probably been sitting for like five minutes maybe a little bit too long Aha. So, there's still a little dirt, and you can see it there, but when you wipe your fingers. Bro, remember my fingers last time? Can you see my finger? Yeah. Yeah. Barely anything. <laughs> Zombie Zack. Out. Another thing I hate most about washing cars is drying the car. This thing used to be ceramic coated, but it worn off and I should have got it professionally done. I highly suggest if you guys ever get a car brand new, PPF it from the start, ceramic coat it, and it makes washing so much easier. Now I have to dry up the car, which is the least fun part. Damn, look at that ass. All right, the Supra is finally all clean. Holy crap, I forgot what the color black actually looked like. <laughs> it was like matte before with a bunch of dust and the wheels, I didn't even scrub. I just sprayed it and washed it off and it is actually quite clean, acceptable. I wanna state, I am not a car wash professional, a pressure washer and connoisseur. I'm just your regular car enthusiast that likes washing his car. And now that I have a unit like this, that's always gonna be wall mounted, ready to go. I'm going to be more motivated to go ahead and wash my car. It's going to save me so much time and save me so much for the And I'm going to have to do less cleanup when I'm done. But if anybody is interested in a unit like this, they actually have a few different units at different price points. All of them are extremely good. Our buddy Duncan and Addison both have a draft pressure washer themselves. We all have different units and it's the same thing, they all come with retractable hoses. So go ahead and check out their website if you're interested in a unit themselves. I'm gonna provide a affiliate link down below. If you guys click that link and purchase a pressure washer, it's gonna help out me, it's gonna help out the channel, and we're gonna be able to do so much more. I don't have a discount code yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and reach out and see if I can get you guys a discount code as well. And if there is one, it's gonna be provided in the description below as well. But thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!